drivers to your cars. And hello, everybody, and welcome to today's event. We are here at Phoenix International Raceway for the first ever Bandit Shippers 250 here at Phoenix International Raceway for the Gander Mountain Cup Series, their second race of Season 1. Uh, welcome here to the raceway. Uh, today we'll have 16 laps of hard-fought mid-mile track action here in the desert. On pole for the event will be Amy Appleman in that one main financial number 11 Toyota. Uh, alongside her, her teammate in the number 20 Dollar General Toyota Camry, that's Yui Wakbayachi, uh, back in row number 2. Here. Uh, here in the... Here is Eric Steinmetz driving the 44 for TriStar Motorsports, sponsored by American Custom Yachts, starting 4th, Ian Siegel. 5th is Henrietta Fitzwater. 6th is Jackie Tang, last week's winner. 7th is Joshua Michaels. 8th is Ian Dutta. 9th is Zachary Fitzwater. And 10th is Austin Wilson. We may be getting the command here shortly. But we're just going to keep on plowing through the, rear of the, through the rest of the field here. Uh, Anthony Ricky will start 11th. Uh, Junior McMillan will start 12th. Uh, Ryan Wilson will start 13th. Calventius Proximus 14th. Uh, where is the next person? There he is. Alex Tanker, he'll start 15th. Uh, Maximus Falks will start 16th. Uh, the, the double zero of Eddie Johnson will start 17th. 18th will be number 15. 31, not 51, sorry, 31 of Ish Taylor. 19th starter will be James Qualls here in the number 70. And starting 20th will be the number 12 of Eugene DeMax. Um, he did not race last week. He was, the driver of that car was, um, who was it? Oh, it was Haruki Takeda. That's who it was, Haruki Takeda. Uh, she was replaced by Eugene DeMax. Eugene DeMax apparent, inherits Takeda's points. From last week and he is just right up in the playing field. All right starting 21st is the number five of Matias Paiva. 22nd will be Luis Hernandez. 23rd is Troy Kang. 24th Ray Jones. 25th is Alex Hawkins who barely finished in second last week's race. 26th is Joshua Blackheart. 27th is Kev Shearer. 28th is Harlan Sanders. 29th is Cody Lamas. 30th is Darian Taylor, 31st is Kyle Anderson, 32nd is Ray Takeda, 33rd is Barry Baker, 34th Donovan Updike, 35th is Taro Takanawa, 36th is the number 7 of Captain Marvelous, 37, back here in the number 9, Robert Stevens, who went two laps down and finished in last place due to an unfortunate technical accident last week, 38th is Topanga Wilson, and 39th is Jacob Crago. Pretty soon here we'll be getting the command to fire the engines. I just don't know when that's going to come, but it'll come pretty soon within the next few minutes. The pace car will begin rolling off. Last week's results, if I didn't mention already, the winner was Jackie Tang, so he automatically takes the points lead. Second place in that event was the number 33 of Alex Hawkins. And so those two are battling 1-2 right now for the lead. The pole sitter last week was Alex Hawkins, so he guarantees a spot in next season's um, Gander shootout for the Gander Mountain Cup tees, and in the Gander Mountain All-Star race will be next season, mid-season, and the only pri driver who is locked into that race is the number 77 of Jack Tang. So, we're about a few minutes away from firing the engines here. Just a couple quick thoughts. Uh, three Toyotas will lead the field of the green today with Appleman, Wakabayashi, and then, whoops, that's Crago. Uh, here we go. Appleman, Wakabayashi, and Steinmetz. Then you have a Chevrolet, a Ford, wherever the Ford is, and another Camry. So Camrys are pretty well taken in the front of this field, you know, taking so far four out of the top six positions. And moving on back, they probably have a couple more. We are inches away from firing the engines. And we'll have the start sequence in about 20 seconds here. So... This is race two. Race three will be heading out next week to Road America out in Wisconsin. Be sure to tune into that for the very next race. But right now, here we go with race number number two of the season. We're a few seconds away from getting drivers, caught. Drivers, there it is. Start your engines. And the drivers now firing their engines. 
as we'll take one lap around for a pace lap, or a couple laps maybe, I'm not confident. We already went over the starting grid, so we'll show you some more onboard views we'll have on today. First off, the onboard number 11, one day financial onboard with Amy Appleman. The number 20, Dollar General onboard with Yuri Bakabayashi. The number 44, American Yachts. American Club Yachts, or whatever they're called. Um, on board for Eric Steinmetz. The Abucare on board for Ian Siebel. The Ubermore on board for Henrietta Fitzwater. And the Bandit Shepherds on board for Jackie Tang. The Stay Gold on board for Joshua Michaels. And the Clorox on board for Ian Dutta. Last week's winner, Jackie Tang. Let's see if he can keep the momentum heading into today's race. And let's see if Alex Hawkins, who starts near the rear of the field, will be able to come up very easily. Pace car is off. Appleman and Walk by Ashi will lead the field to green. 16 laps here at Phoenix. The green flag is out. We are underway in the Bandit Chippers 250 at Phoenix International Raceway. Yui Wakabayashi getting a great start up on the outside line. Looks like that's the line to work from today. As she'll take the lead very early on. Passing Ian Siegel is going to work with her. Passing um, Amy Appleman, the pole sitter. Appleman's going to dive right back on the inside trying to take the lead back. Ian Siegel's going to try to work with Wakabayashi to inherit the lead. But Wakabayashi's all out there. But here comes Appleman. Uh, nope. Appleman will stay back. Watch back. She's just going to get further and further away from these guys. She is running away with this race. Within the first lap. But here comes Appleman back on the inside. Not good enough. Wakabayashi will head in with a lap good. Uh, 0.37 seconds behind the 20 is Appleman right now. Remember, these races are caution-free, which means if a wreck happens, we will not stop the race. We will just keep on racing. The Dollar General Toyota is dominating so far today, gaining on the 11 car of Amy Appleman back here. She's trying to fend off J last week's winner Jackie Tang and the three of Ian Siegel. And further on back in the field, we have a club of people led by Eric Steinmetz. Right now, up front, Yui Wakabayashi is rolling away with this race. It's unbelievable how bad that she's winning this one. Nobody's even getting close. Last week's race, there's a lot bigger packs than this. We didn't see one moment where the lead car was leading off. Always close. From the times Fitzwater was leading to the times Tang led at the end to the times in the middle where Michaels were leading. Always someone competing. Not today, folks. Wakabayachi, within four laps, has gotten a 1.5 second lead over Amy Appleman. Man, for the second and third place drivers, Ace must be wishing that this series had cautions. Only if it did. But it doesn't. So that 20 car is just going to gain its lead, but no, Jackie Tang in the 77 is going to come up, is coming up quickly. Under a second difference between the 20 and the 77. Look how fast Tang is coming, wow. Last week's winner, I don't know what he's got in that car, but it can fly, I'm telling you. Jackie Tang gaining, passing Amy Appleman back there, who just loses a lot of ground, followed by Ian Siegel and Henrietta Fitzwater. That's your top five right now. But right now, it looks like it's becoming Yui Wakabayachi versus Jackie Tang. Two Pan-Asian drivers coming over to the States and racing in stock car races like this. Unbelievable. Uh, looks like that 20 car is getting a little bit more ground off that 77. Both cars running independently with nobody in sight in front or behind. Except for that 2 car division by at least a second. Third place, 2.92 seconds behind the leader. Then you have this battle between Henrietta Fitzwater and Ian Siegel back here for fourth place. Then you have those two fighting it out for six, and then you have a three-car team. Other than that, this field is really spread out. We may see some lapping here pretty soon, honestly.
to be five seconds behind someone this early on in the race is insane. We're about almost halfway through the event here. Man, Yui is just dominating. Took the lead right out of the gate in lap one, and nobody has been able to get around her. She may be the first female winner we've ever had in Game Around Cup Series history. Not much lead changes you can go and see over on the scoreboard over there. Still the same top five. People have moved around in it, but still the old same. Eric Steinmetz, he's fallen a lot. What's going on with him? He's down to eighth place. He started third. He's just got passed by the 92 of Jerry McMillan. Now he's getting passed by the 04 of Joshua Michaels. The 6 of Anthony Ricky's looking to get around the car, and there's the 30 of Austin Wilson as well. That car is falling quickly. Back up to the lead, though, with Yui Wakabayachi. Jackie Tang's getting nowhere gaining ground. Now, his high speed, wow, 110 here in track like Phoenix. Pretty good, I'd say. Jackie Tang almost two seconds behind the leader. This is not looking good for anybody else, except for that Joe Gibbs racing Toyota of Yui Wakabayachi. Now, the 77 is an affiliated car the t of the 20. That car is owned by Kyle Busch, that's part of Kyle Busch Motorsports. His teammate, Calventius Proximus, in the 54, he just popped up in the top 10 somehow by passing Eric Steinmetz in the 44. Right back up front, that $20 General Toyota is dominating this race, but Jackie Tang getting ground, almost down to a second. That car is flying quick. Look at that top speed! Man, Jackie Tang catching quickly on the number 20 car. I'd watch out, Wakabayachi. You may be caught quick. It looks like the 79's about the path. Je yes, she she just did. Henrietta Pittswater just got ahead of Amy Appleman. Now Amy Appleman's batting back. And there's Joshua Michaels in the top five. How did he get up there? He's going to pass Fitzwater. Now he's going to look to pass Appleman. He may be the one that ends up getting there and passing Wakabayachi. But right now, on lap 12 of 16, Wakabayachi has dominated. No one looking to pass the number 20 car. She has definitely the driver of the race if she doesn't win. But Jackie Tang's closing in, though. Ooh, 0.82 away from... There's Joshua Michaels up to th almost up to third now, getting ahead of Appleman. Wow. I'll tell you what, folks. Joshua Michaels might be able to even get this thing done today. But he better hurry. Only four laps left. That's the number 22 of Ray Takedo. He's probably a lap down. Before these guys are about to get into lap traffic ahead. But there's Jackie Tang. All right there, folks. Will Jackie Tang pass? and go for the second straight win of the season. No, Yui Wakabayashi will hold off Jackie Tang this lap. Three to go. Wow, folks. Jackie Tang battling back again. Second straight week. Keep an eye on that ticker on the right side of your screen, folks. Joshua Michaels might just be right back in this thing. Who knows, but it looks like right now it's just the two of them. Yui Wakabayashi and Jackie Tang. Jackie Tang, what happened? Jackie Tang has stopped. He slowed down. He just gave Yui a lot of ground. Wow, what just happened? He's slowing down. Now he's catching back up to the 20 car. This is Yui's race to lose, and she might just lose it. Coming around this time to the white flag. It's Yui Wakabayashi, followed by Jackie Tang. Nobody else in sight. White flag is in the air. Will Yui get it done? And she hits the wall! Yui Wakabayachi hits the wall on lap 15. Jackie Tang is going to look inside for the pass. He won't get it. Yui coming around turn number two. Now on the back straightaway, she has the lead. Jackie Tang not getting any luckier, just falling further and further back. Yui Wakabayachi comes around turn three and four. Oh my gosh, she might just win it after hitting the wall on lap 5. First Asian driver to win in the series last week. First female driver this week. Yui Wakabayachi wins the Bandit Chippers 250 at Phoenix International Raceway. What a last lap you guys just saw, folks. Wow.
Yui Wakabayachi holds off Jackie Tang for the victory here at Phoenix International Raceway. As you look over on your results on this side of the screen, Yui wins the race, followed by Jackie Tang. Joshua Michaels, a well done, good job at the end there, getting third place. Junior McMillan jumps up the fourth. Amy Appleman, fifth. Um, Henrietta Fitzwater, sixth. Anthony Ricky, seventh. Kevin, he is Proximus, eighth. Ian Siegel, ninth. And Austin Wilson, tenth. Steinmetz, eleventh. Taylor, twelfth. Kang, thirteenth. Dutta, fourteenth. Hernandez, fifteenth. Johnson, sixteenth. Marvelous, seventeenth. Fitzwater, eighteenth. Jones, nineteenth. Qualls, twentieth. Twenty-first is Eugene DeMax, make me his debut, nice job, 22nd Paiva, 23rd Stevens, 24th Falks, 25th Takeda, 26th Wilson, 27th Sanders, 28th Wilson, 29th Hawkins, 30th Baker, 31st Updike, 32nd Anderson, 33rd Tanker, 34th Crago, 35th Shearer, 36th Taylor, 37th Blackheart, 38th Lamas, and 39th place goes to Taro Takanawa. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching today's race. Uh, Jackie Tang probably definitely is the points leader after those two strong finishes. As we head into Road America next week for the Dollar General for um, 225 at Road America in Wisconsin. We'll see you then, folks. Until then, check subscribe to my channel, watch more races, and we'll see you next time.